A record 10th wicket partnership by Jordan Clark and Kyle Jarvis helped Lancashire to a big innings total against Yorkshire. Lancashire began day two on 299 for seven. Day one was mostly dominated by Lancashire's top order before Yorkshire took six wickets in the final session to put themselves back in the hunt. Clark and Lilly were the not out batsmen and it was a nervy start for the hosts. However, both batsmen then began to find the boundary, pushing the score towards 350 and frustrating the Yorkshire bowlers. Yorkshire, though, weren't doing themselves any favours, Bresnan putting down a catchable chance off the bowling of Sidebottom. Lilly, though, was undeterred, going at better than a runner ball and finding the boundary with ease. His innings was to come to an end with a score on 386, caught behind off Patterson for 45, the partnership with Clark worth 87. When Buck came and went for one, LBW to Bresnan, Lancashire were 387 for nine, and the innings looked all but over. However, someone forgot to tell Jarvis and Clark, who then helped themselves to a record-breaking 10th wicket partnership of 107, with both batsmen hitting career-best scores. Clark reached 84, and Jarvis launched sixes off Bresnan and Rashid to also pass 50. Clark then hit a maximum of his own to push the partnership past 100. By the time Jarvis was eventually LBW to Rashid for 57, Lancashire had taken their total to 494 with an incredible 195 runs coming in the opening session of the day. Clark and Jarvis's 10th wicket partnership of 107 easily beat the previous record of 85 for Lancashire versus Yorkshire set at Scarborough in 1991. Hamid and Proctor put on a wonderful 152-run partnership on day one to set up the innings for Lancashire before an astounding morning session on day two took their total just shy of 500. Yorkshire with it all to do in the afternoon session. Life and Lee started confidently in reply with both batsmen finding the cover boundary. Lee survived a strong LBW appeal midway through the session but partner Life wasn't so fortunate, trapped on the crease by Jarvis for 25. Buck had Lees jumping on the crease with a well-directed short ball. And leaning nearly fell when edging a tough chance to second slip off the bowling of Smith. However, Smith persisted with his teasing line and was rewarded with the wicket of leaning soon after, caught by Livingston for seven. Gale was the new man at the crease and he survived through to tea with Lees, Yorkshire 75 for two at the break. The evening session was about consolidation for Yorkshire who couldn't afford to lose wickets late in the day and that's exactly what Lees and Gale delivered. It was slow going for the visitors but the pair put on an unbeaten 81 to bat through the final session. Gale finished the day unbeaten on 36 from 126 balls with Lees not out 62 off 197 balls, a proper dig in and plod on from Yorkshire. The visitors ended the second day on 136 for two, after Lancashire's tail wagged hard to lift them to 494 all out. Yorkshire going to day three, still 358 runs behind Lancashire's big first innings total, but with eight wickets still in hand.